He was a prolific Chicago artist whose work has never been seen publicly until now. And Sherman, where is he? He's live showing and telling us about this man and his work and how it ended up here in Indy. Sherman, good morning. Good morning. Interesting story. So I want you to imagine and then reimagine. Uh, it's the title of this exhibit that's going to be opening up here uh, th this evening. We are live inside Schaefer and King Modern, which is a really cool shop uh, inside but uh, 52nd Street in Monon. The shop specializes in a lot of cool things, uh, but what's happening tonight is, is gosh, I don't want to say cooler because I don't want like <laughs> you not as cool as this, but uh, it certainly is very, very cool. Yes. Uh, this is Andy King. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, tell everybody what Schaefer and King Modern is all about, and then we'll get to what's happening tonight. Sure. So we sell modern art and mid-century modern design, like um, from the 1950s through the 90s, basically like 20th century modernist stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and we had this really cool opportunity to show the work of this uh, Chicago artist. I mean, it's the first time any of his work is being seen. So, And he is his name? His name is James Brooke. Um, he was the uh, executive art director for Leo Burnett, which is like one of the top advertising companies in the world, um, and painted his whole life, uh, but nobody's ever seen any of this work before. Which is so interesting. So he was, you know, as you mentioned, advertising executive, but he was, as I read, painting like in his garage or whatever, all these paintings. Yeah. Some, his family would see some of them, but he recently passed away. Yes. And then you guys discovered his work and brought it here. Right. Yeah, so he was just a very super private person, um, did his uh, art degrees at Notre Dame and USC and painted from, uh, from the 50s all the way through his death. Um, but he was super private, would never let anyone outside of the family see any of his work, um, never sold anything, never showed anything. And when he passed, his, his kids were really wanted to have some, find someone to um, show their dad's work and this is the first time tonight is the first time anyone will ever see it in person and so you guys uh partnered up with them and brought it here yes He's, there's 400 plus pieces i think total in his uh, body of work right and about 100 plus that are actually out yeah right i think now. we have about 150 on view now talk about his style i said impressionist and expression expressionist, is yeah. that right sure but you were telling me about the layers when you look at his work um they're some of his paintings, he actually started with a painting and then painted over something. Right. Yeah, so the way he worked for the most part was he would do these real hyper-realistic hyper drawings and then paint over the, the drawings using um, just the main shapes. And then he would paint over them again and again and again. So some of these paintings have like a dozen layers of paint on them. So it's, you can't really tell with, you know, without seeing it in person. It's just really heavy paint that has okay. a lot of depth. So reimagine opens tonight. Yes. And it goes through October 29th. So October when can 29th. I come see all of this? Sure. Well, we have our opening reception from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. tonight, and then we're open every Thursday through Sunday. Okay, great. This uh, awesome stuff. We put a link at our website to theirs. So you can see more of the work at fox59.com to that link. Also, price points anywhere from like 50 bucks on up to whatever you want to spend. So that's cool, too. I know I got to go, so I'll see you, and happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday. Thank you. Hey.